this is the raid buff status buff options window. You can open it by clicking top right of the dashboard. It configures what buffs appear on the dashboard and in what position. You can configure each buff to decide whether you consider it to be a warning, a buff, if you want to show in the dashboard or not, whether you want to report or show in combat, and whether you want it to be reported when you press the trash button or the boss button. There's many buffs as you can see. The dead or alive buff button is very useful because when people are dead you can simply right click on it and it will automatically raise whoever happens to be in range. The durability buff check will automatically check people's durability if they've got ORA2 installed. If people are flasked or have food buff but they're slacking because they're using less than the best available, it will also warn you. The missing mammoth cutters and so on will automatically check people's bags to check that the hunter has got the, the best available ammo. The soul shard that you just saw a moment ago will check bags of warlocks to check that they've got enough soul shards, provided they've got RA2 installed of course. Things like drums of the wild and so on automatically know whether they need to be cast because if there's a, a druid in the party then you, you clearly don't need to do drums of the wild. Paladin Blessings ties in with Pally Power, but that's optional.